For me, the most piquant expression of vulgarity was maybe during the Second World War, when Parisian women, to um, show their independence from the occupying Germans, dressed in as much vulgarity as they could do, because all the wives of the German officers were going to oak couture houses and having beautiful and exquisitely chic clothes made. So the Parisians went completely the other way. And that's why you saw things with like giant leg of mutton sleeves, enormous bow peep hats, and all of this while recycling on in a bicycle. In time, it couldn't be better applied to certain people, just like, um, I better not say which people, but I mean, the whole celebrity culture is vile and vulgar, yes. But maybe um, glorifying the word is another correspond to the time. I saw somebody, I went to Selfridges the other day, I saw two boys dressed up with dresses, beautiful dresses, long dresses with a train, and I thought, that is great. I mean, I, I think it's wonderful to see that. That is a new beginnings of the, the children nowadays. I mean, I'm so sick of this, uh, the uniform, uh, but that it was, I was really shocked. I, I went to Selfridges to see something else, but um, I was surprised that the, the boy was selling his old dresses, dressed up beautifully. He's a designer from school somewhere, I don't remember where. And that really gave me an incredible uh, idea that the future is going to be fantastic if the um, we get rid of this kind of obnoxious things and ugliness and, and we go back to really being vulgar, if you want to, but um, with an incredible sort of rigidity and beautiful. And that could be the new Baroque. I mean, the, the boy that I saw there wearing that dress is fantastic. And it was not uh, mask, uh, feminine at all, it was very masculine. I think it's also something which has been there always. So it's not something which I think which is uh, um, relating to generations. It's really all the time there and it's also continuity. And it's also, I think, a kind of almost reaction because I think that the, the um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's typical also in fashion that sometimes you see something and you think, oh, it's really not beautiful, but then it becomes fashion and suddenly it has a kind of beauty. So that's also this continuation, this changements in fashion, which is, uh, I think, very important for fashion.